Hi and welcome, I'm Christopher Fitton and I'll be the voice you hear tonight. Sometimes life can be tough and it's important to prepare for that. Problems and bumps in the road can hit you when you least expect it. This hypnotherapy recording will show you how you can tackle any challenge that comes your way through understanding how you act to challenges with purpose and not just react to them and get bogged down in the problem. It will help you be in total control of your reactions. Firstly, we'll visit a cosy cottage and witness and become part of a beautiful sunset. This will calmly relax you and help you de-stress ready for deep relaxation and then you will hear positive suggestions to help leave negative thinking behind and become bigger than your problems. There are a lot of podcasts owned by corporations in this space now and leaving reviews really helps small podcast owners like me help more and more people to get a great night's sleep. Please listen to this recording in a place where you can safely go to sleep. And let's begin. As you lay here, comfortably at peace, I invite you to journey with me to a place of pure relaxation and serenity. Close your eyes when you are ready and imagine yourself in a cosy, pleasant bedroom, nestled within a beautiful, rustic cottage. Above you, there are old beams on the ceiling, adding a touch of warmth and comfort to this space. A soft amber light, sits on the bedside table next to you, casting a gentle golden light around the room, bringing a sense of calm and tranquility, and also coziness and warmth into this room. After a long and tiring day, you can imagine that you retreat to this peaceful sanctuary. Perhaps you have been exploring the outdoors, taking long walks, and experiencing the beauty of nature. Or you may have been doing other things that you enjoy. Your body may begin to feel a little tired and your mind is ready to drift off into a peaceful and restful relaxation. The bed you are lying in is comfortable and the duvet and blankets and sheets are freshly cleaned and laundered and the material feels so good against your skin. You get into a very comfortable position, a position that allows you to relax and let go and to rest your muscles from the hard and weary day. You allow yourself to settle in to that position And as you move around and get into that position, you feel more and more relaxed, comfortable and at ease with each moment that passes. Your body feels so relaxed in this moment and a relaxing feeling spreads through your face as it relaxes 
every single muscle in your face, from your forehead through to the tiny muscles around your eyes, and then into your jaw. Your forehead detenses, your eyes smooth, and your jaw relaxes. You feel so good in this moment, and as you are lying in this bed, that feeling of relaxation moves down your body as you feel yourself sinking into the bed. The feeling relaxes your neck, relaxes your back, relaxes the muscles around your stomach. And as this feeling deeply and doubly relaxes the muscles in your stomach, you can take deep, purposeful breaths that relax you. And let's take a deep breath now as you breathe in and out. Down. As you take this deep breath, your stomach moves in and down as you take in the nourishing oxygen from the room and you feel relaxed, so relaxed with each of these deep breaths as your body balances and recalibrate, you feel amazing, you feel at ease, you feel at peace, this room really is like a private sanctuary, and you feel yourself sinking more into the bed now, as this relaxing feeling soothes every muscle, as it moves into your hip, thighs and calf, doubly relaxing each muscle now, until the feeling reaches the end of your toes, the feeling has also gone down your shoulders and arms, into your hands and fingers, and your whole body is now full of this relaxing feeling, making you feel deeply relaxed, and you notice the feeling runs up and down your body, from the top of your head, all the way down to the tips of your toes, doubly deeply relaxed, each time your muscles feel this peaceful, soothing energy, you feel doubly and deeply relaxed, as you enjoy this room, you enjoy the relaxation around you, as you begin to relax, you may notice that your mind starts to wander, let it go where it will, like a gentle stream flowing through your consciousness, until the water settles, and is at peace, if thoughts or images float into your mind's eye, observe them, acknowledge them, without judgement, this time is just for you, there's no place that you would rather be, there are no obligations here, no expectations, 
all you need to do is deeply relax and let go, let go of any stresses, any anxieties, and with this realisation that this place and time is just for you, you can take a deep breath in and exhale slowly as you let go, feeling every part of you relax every part of your body, every muscle relaxing, any tension just flowing out of you, all cells in your body are relaxed, you are at peace, at happiness, you can be so relaxed, let dreams can surround you, and you let them flow like clouds in the sky, and you trust that your subconscious mind will listen, will listen and acknowledge anything that you need to hear, anything that is important to you now. In this beautiful room, in this beautiful house, you see that the sun is beginning to set through the window, it's a beautiful sunset and you take it in, the sky is awash and alive with all the beautiful colours of the day, of shades of deep red, golden orange and yellow and gold, it stretches out in front of you onto the beautiful landscape in your mind's eye. You notice a beautiful cloud on the horizon, and it is lit by the setting sun. It shows all the dazzling colours we just mentioned, and it has all those colours running through it, forming amazing images that change and move and shift before your eyes, at some points you recognise shapes in it, you see people that you know or knew, perhaps you see some animals, maybe you see a bird with a wing outstretched, or you see images of your life, or things in you, all pictured within this beautiful scene, you think of other images from your imagination, and they form in the cloud, if you wish you can rise from your bed and move towards the window in the cottage, or you can stay where you are and let the window of your mind's eye come closer to you. It's a warm summer evening, and the window was open, letting in a gentle pleasant breeze. You open the window fully, 
and the cloud seems to come closer and closer to you, as if beckoning you to join it. And now the cloud is just outside your window, and you decide to step onto it and to feel yourself being drawn in, becoming part of its amazing, subtle, warm and relaxing embrace. It's like an amazing, soft bed, even more comfortable than the one you are in at the moment in the cottage. It feels truly amazing. You can't believe it at first, but it is doubly more comfortable than the bed you've just been in, and you enjoy settling in, feeling cosy and comfortable, it's so, so warm and cosy, it feels so wonderful, yourself drifting upwards, carried away by the cloud, up, 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 into a red and golden sky, as you go higher and higher, you feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed and comfortable, You are drifting away to a long lost land of dreams where your imagination reigns supreme. This is a place that belongs to you, only to you, a special place a space within your subconscious mind and vision, where all the solutions you can see will be found. You enjoy it now, resting in this comforting cloud. And you enjoy it now. a few moments, I'm going to help you feel even more relaxed, even calmer, in a few moments I'm going to say the word relax, and each and every time that I say the word relax, a wonderful feeling of calmness, a wonderful wave of relaxation, will wash over you, every time I say that word relax, this feeling of calmness, this feeling of relaxation, will grow stronger and stronger for you, so just allow yourself now, to relax more and more, 
every muscle, every nerve, every fibre in your body relaxing more and more, your mind becoming calmer and calmer, relaxing more and more, relax, and continue to relax more and more with every breath, and as you do, your subconscious mind, that part of you that knows everything about you, that part of you which can easily and naturally help you to feel and to be happy, and to be content every single day, now begins to become open, open to the wonderful suggestions that you're going to receive today, suggestions that will help you to feel, to be more happy, suggestions that will help you to feel and to be content. you're bigger than your problems, you'll now learn the art of reacting to challenges, and from this moment forward, you will look at future problems as challenges, challenges are things that you can learn and grow from, They help to mould people into being more successful. The one thing that you have 100% control over in your life is your power of thought. You have the right to think whatever you want regardless of what others think say or do, no one can control your thoughts but you, knowing that you have the ultimate control to react to any situation the way you want to, in fact from this moment on you will not react to any situations that require thought or consideration, instead you will act, when you react, you make decisions in response to someone else's agenda, by only acting, you have made the choice not to react to someone or something else, you've made the decision to act however you like, you can do whatever you want to do, you now have the ability to respond to a situation after carefully giving it thought, to wait and respond to the situation another time or day, or not to respond to it whatsoever, you can walk away and say or do something totally unrelated, imagine right now a person that you may have difficulty with standing in front of you, they're talking about their dissatisfaction with you as they point their finger towards you, 
how would you immediately respond normally? Now imagine that rather than responding to them in kind, that you look at your phone and say something like, wow, I have a dinner appointment right now, isn't that wonderful, as you walk away. People have a choice of being happy or unhappy with you, that's completely up to them. You also have the choice to be happy or unhappy, and from this point forward, you choose to be happy. Negative people and problems don't bother you, as you look at them as challenges to be solved, when you're prepared and ready. Now that you have taken control of how you act or react, you realise that you have the choice to handle any challenge that comes your way on your timetable and desire. You're able to reframe any situation you face by looking at it from a different perspective. You realise if someone is angry with you, that it most likely has nothing to do with you whatsoever. They may be angry at something they did, or something that happened at home, or at their boss, and they are directing their anger towards you, because you just happened to be there. It's not always about you, it can be the issues they have themselves internally. You handle every challenge that comes your way, understanding that you're in control of how you respond or act. You're the decider of your decisions. You're the only boss of your life. You choose to remain calm, relax, and make important decisions with a clear and a level head. Even if you have to walk away and take time to think about it. It's important to realize that everyone has their own agenda, but it's also important to realise that it's their agenda and not yours, you're in control, you make decisions according to your desires, you're now bigger than any problems or challenges, as you are in control. We're realising the importance of taking control of one's thoughts and reactions to challenges by reframing problems as opportunities to learn and grow, and by choosing to act rather than react. Individuals can maintain control over their lives and make decisions according to their own desires. It's also important to remember that other people's agendas and emotions are not necessarily reflective of one's own actions, and that it's possible to remain calm and make important decisions with a clear and level head. In this way, individuals can become bigger than their problems and challenges, and can achieve success on their own terms. 
the way you think about challenges could greatly impact how you approach them and how you ultimately overcome them. As you continue to take control of your thoughts and actions, you will find that you are able to handle difficult situations with great ease and confidence. You will be able to approach challenges with a clear mind and make decisions that are in alignment with your goals and values. It's also important to remember that you are not alone in facing similar challenges. You can seek support and guidance from others who have faced similar challenges or who have expertise in the area that you are struggling with. Asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. One of the keys to mastering the art of reacting to challenges is to remain mindful and present in the moment. When you are fully present, you are better able to tune out distractions and focus on what is truly important. This allows you to make better decisions and to respond to challenges in a way that is aligned with your values and goals. Another important aspect of handling challenges is to maintain a growth mindset. Instead of seeing challenges as obstacles, you can view them as opportunities for growth and development. Embrace challenges as a chance to learn new skills, gain new knowledge, and to become a better version of yourself. It's also very important to remember that challenges are not always a result of our own actions and decisions. Sometimes challenges arise due to external factors that are beyond our control. Your control. In these situations, it's so important to remain calm, flexible and adaptable. You want to process the challenge before reacting to it. You want to act in your way, just as we have talked before. You focus on what you can control and take action to mitigate the impact of external challenges on your life and goals. Ultimately, mastering the art of reacting to challenges requires patience, persistence and a willingness to learn and grow. It's not always easy, but with practice and dedication, you can develop the skills and the mindset needed to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. So remember that you are in control of your thoughts and actions, and that challenges are simply opportunities for growth and development. In addition to staying present 
and maintaining a growth mindset. Another important aspect of handling challenges is to stay positive and focused on solutions. Instead of dwelling on the problem, you focus on finding a solution or alternative path forward. This helps you stay proactive, acting to responses and being solution orientated and you avoid getting bogged down by negativity or pessimism. It's also important to take care of yourself and prioritise self care. This can be listening to this recording again or listening to more recordings. It can be when facing challenges that you don't become overwhelmed, stressed or anxious. You take care of your physical, mental and emotional health. You can better cope with challenges and maintain a positive outlook. Finally, remember that every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth and learning. Even if you don't succeed overnight, in overcoming a particular challenge, you still learn the valuable lessons and insights that can help you in the future. So you embrace challenges as a chance to become a better, stronger and more resilient version of yourself and you never give up.